There's no place to escape to. This is the last time. On the left. Side stories. Yeah, from your That's when the cannibalism started. Side, Side stories. stories. <laughs> yes. I'm talking. I'm starting. Oh, you just, you bo, 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 bo. That's you're how you to talk. Me? That's how you sound. Racist accent. Bo, 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 bo. Oh, that's how I sound. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, what a funny little jibe for you. Well, guess what? I'm calm today. And I can't be affected. I can't be affected by your little snide remarks. Yeah. Well, you are. For those that don't know, this is wow. You are really in droves. People are rushing to our Patreon because today, even though it's a podcast, you did dress up I mean, and you look you look like amazing. Where are my pamphlets? You're no, do not no. He doesn't get them because now he's Gwyneth Paltrow. Okay, listen, and Gwyneth when that you're, you're Henry ruining my entire bit. Oh, am I ruining it? Yes. Welcome to Side Stories. I'm Ben hanging out with Gwyneth Paltrow. I, I'm yes, and you are because <laughs> last week, so I was resold. Right, I was retold that my blood pressure. Wasn't good. It's not good. Right? It's not good. And so last week I wanted to get into, you know, I was saying I'm a star seed, <laughs> all this kind of shit. Um, turns out it's um like deeply embedded in like right wing, like Aryan nation stuff, like star seeds. Oh whatever. no, everything is. They yeah, don't get to claim Thor. They don't get to claim star seeds no. just because right. some. No, you they are a star seed. star seed. They can have star seeds. Okay. Um, if you're giving it up that fast. I just know it's because I realized something because I was sitting and I was watching. I feel for some reason I've been sucked into this Gwyneth Paltrow trial, just like all of the rest of us. I all, all love this of, trial. I love this trial. And I'm, I mean, I'm just going to straight up say I'm team Gwyneth and I don't care what anyone says. After I saw the animation that cost a hundred thousand dollars, <laughs> I was team Gwyneth. But now yeah. what I realize is that I don't need to be a star seed to be calm. Was that what I need? <laughs> it's Gwyneth Paltrow courtroom energy. I agree. Where I arrive, as you can see now, I'm wearing this shirt directly from Goop, selling merch in court. Beautiful. Important to do. Yes. I'm the kind of energy that's like, I brought my own sparkling water to court. I love and it. They've all allowed me to do this. I think it's fantastic. Let me smell your shirt. Energy. <sighs> Smells like her vagina. Does this actually make you think of her? If you see my, if you see like, because I got, they're kind of, I got pokies. Yeah, they're probably the similar size, but Gwyneth's, the thing is uh, around Gwyneth's body is a little nicer. But if you just isolated your boobs, shave them, uh, yes, perhaps. If anyone wants to Photoshop Henry's beautiful luscious breasts, which you can find They've on, already have. Yeah, They've already on Gwyneth have. Paltrow, then we but can really make that vision come I'm true. I'm sitting here. I'm centered. All right. I have my kids. I mean, Moses and Apple, the two most grounded <laughs> children that will ever live. They have their bow and arrow instructor. Aww. He's been honestly, he's really picked up a lot of the slack since Gigi died. Um, they're, Who's um, Gigi? That's their fourth shift nanny. Um, because I got, you know, they're one of the flagging of nannies. She died by suicide. But only that's because of how she saw how calm I was and knew she could never get to it. I agree with and that. I, I'm sitting here. I have a jade egg so deep up inside of my vagina. It's fantastic and how I you were could, able to do that. I feel just so zen. And I don't care how this woman, this so-called prosecuting attorney, is also making fun of me, but at the same okay. time trying to be me. I'm not I'm not going to sit here and allow this to happen any longer. Not you. I'm talking prosecutors trying to be cute when they're prosecuting. She, it's not I a am, good look. I'm sick of it. And I hate this idea of like celebrity lawyer. No, you're a fucking lawyer. Okay, you should be like one of the best Wendy's employees of all time. Just create the product. Did you I see, eat it and I say thank you for what you've done. Did you see the whole section where they were trying to get Gwyneth Paltrow to leave the stand to come reenact the ski falling? And oh they, they my were gonna God. try to get it. and he and Terry Sanderson. So if you don't know, Gwyneth Paltrow is currently being sued for doing a ski and run accident by a, a man, a doctor named Terry Sanderson. A grown man, Gwyneth Paltrow weighs what? 85 pounds soaking, covered in her own goop. She'll be 85 pounds. Not when she is a small tittied bullet. Shooting down the side of a mountain. Maybe this is just masculinity flipped on its head to be, make me almost feminine, but I just feel like this guy is too weak. If you can't handle a hit by mm. Gwyneth Paltrow, you don't deserve to ski anymore, and you're not strong enough to live. Well, he not didn't to mention, what about hey. shame? What about shame, the American male? Kissel, no more now shame. you're getting, look at my Gwyneth Paltrow-like breasts <sighs> and calm down. And remember, she's in the room with you. So imagine, I, that's, well, why I what, today. that's why I'm team you. Thank you. And I want to say thank you. Oh, 
pain. <laughs> oh, oh, pain, pain. You know she's my first Ooh, crush. Are you Shakespeare? Dude, yeah, I'm Ooh, Shakespeare. Oh, yeah, I made a special water. It's yellow. <laughs> you sell it? Well, you know, she could do whatever she wants I to me. It. But that same kind of energy I'm also trying to bring today, selling merch on the stand. That's incredible <laughs> she's able to move units on the stand. But so, so Terry Sanderson is alleging that Gwyneth Paltrow hit him, right? And he's suing her for $300,000 in damages. But now what we'll see is, up through, this is really shows where the money goes if you got a lot of money. They, the Gwyneth Paltrow is coming back in her defense. Got well, a whole cartoon made. It's like but, Pixar is yeah, like... Yeah, she's defending herself shit. as she has the right to do. Absolutely. But can we just say, first, he wanted to sue her for $3.1 million. Oh, yes. This guy... Okay. He's looking for money, but yes. He's also fine. I watched him walk to the stand. He is fine. Oh, no, he's I saw doctor. a limp. No, he, he said, did not have a limp. No, no. What he did was he said something about how he's like, Pac-Man don't look right. Like he said something <laughs> weird. Something's off inside of him. I don't he, know. He's mad. But he alleges that she hit her. But now th that she hit him. But she is saying that actually it was he that hit her. And then what actually yes, happened he was. he avoided a, a crowd. But the action was weird was because she was doing turns to the left. She, she was being she sexy. She was. Uh, she, it was quite a she was me. Imagine going me. Down, no, she wasn't uh, you. I'm not going to imagine you actually on that. Because uh, that's disgusting. No, I, she is quite a paltro. Where she is, is Ben Affleck? <laughs> I remember Ben Affleck. Yeah, you guys had a great friendship oh, and maybe more. Oh, sweet, sweet. She was just being a wealthy elite, doing well, what they should be they should doing. Be. Being on skiing. Slopes. Yes. Go skiing. skiing. Absolutely. And he says that when he hit her, she was skiing out of control. Well, and then he has permanent, he has a permanent oh, traumatic brain injury. Oh, where's Brad Pitt? And I saw him on the stand and, he, and I don't love. know if that's true. Me and Brad Pitt made the love. He also said he had four broken oh. ribs. And then the worst is he had emotional distress. Well, he couldn't even look at a mountain anymore without openly weeping. All right, that's me, but that's just Please. because of those old school. Remember those paintings they used to sell? It was like, or not Arthur Ashe. He died at AIDS. What was the other guy? <laughs> He's a tennis man. What was the yes, guy that painted fantastic, Mr. Arthur Ackleford? Ash. Who gives a shit? Are you talking about Bob Ross? Yeah, I'm talking about the painting with the Anne Geddes with the babies in the hands. Yes. Um, love a mountain. But Gwyneth Paltrow is fighting back, and she's saying that actually he came up. He said that what was weird is that she was like, I found out a man come up to the back of me. I heard his groans, oh, and then they man. fell to the side. And it, it was, and it's bad. But now Terry Sanderson's gonna hit the. I'm just, I'm transfixed because, of course, you have Oscar winner, the queen of the pokies herself. She mm -hmm. is on the stand, giving it all she's got. She is. She's got like you know, fully dressed out. You know, like what's with Dahmer glasses though? Why is everybody doing the Dahmer? I glasses? don't know. It's back. It's back in a big way, and whatever. I'm kind of happy for the phase. I don't mind them, but it is interesting that now they're so mainstream that again, Gwyneth Paltrow is wearing them under oath, so she is admitting that she thinks she looks good. She thought but about. It. So, she thought about killing. She really did. And what's so interesting is, so a season pass at this place. It's Deer Valley Ski Resort. A season pass is $2,890. Oh, it's very so expensive. So she says, you know what, motherfucker? Because you hit me, I lost half a ski day. And then so she's suing him saying, yo, you cost me half a ski day. See, now I I'm, want my money back. The more we get into that, the less I care. You know what I mean? Like once we get to the whole, like we've lost half a ski day. I'm sorry. You're going to have a third kid named El Capitan. That is, I don't know what's <laughs> going to happen. Then their fourth kid is some kind of kid named Magellan. Oh. I don't know what she's going to, but uh, you know, it's like Apple and Moses, I just pray to fucking Christ you find another thing to do besides entertainment. Get out of this business. Well, this is what this is what Dr. Wendell Gibby, this is what they testified about Sanderson. That's the dude who was apparently assaulted by all 14 pounds of Gwyneth Paltrow. Mr. Sanderson. She says that he was an active person. But then after the accident, things abruptly changed. For example, he used to like to go to wine tastings, but he doesn't like them anymore. And I, I honestly, don't give I, a fuck. When I first heard that, first of all, we should have done a trigger warning. I know. For our audience. I know. Because I know our audience. The one thing they care most about is making sure, making sure that all of us that are doing great can get straight to our wine tastings. You have any idea how many? That's my community. I know. Those are my fucking people. You're saying like, oh, what a shame. That's his entire outreach, bro. They have I'm to aware. get the new solves from fucking Low Medical County. All it's right? not easy. It's, it's not, not easy. easy. But, but again, now he I'm can't calm. even taste the wine. But I'm calm today because, again, I remember I've got my, my kids have trampoline university from seven to nine. 
And then they have to go straight to figuring out how they, um, my kids, both Moses and Apple, both of them have about 700 gallons of fresh water. I've already I applied to them in a bunker. Know. And their your jobs are now to go out there and, and they're going to go to not tying school. I don't know what right. kids do. Also, can we just say this? Uh, this trial is nothing like Megan the Stallion's trial with Tory Lanez. Or even Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. I, I do yeah, like those are very just like, serious these, trials. No, these are very. It's like no, this was about. This is the, not a the, serious the trial. The dumbest thing that's ever. And everyone's alive. And everyone's totally fine. Yes. And Gwyneth Paltrow, the one thing that they they're calling her a scam influencer. Whoa. And well, yes, I mean, Goop you know, is the female equivalent of Infowars website when it comes to their merch page. Yes. But what are you talking about? It it's all one, sampled by by uh, Kate Bosworth. If it helps one person. You know, if it if one person was about to kill their family and they lit that pussy candle and was like, not today. I mean, I just don't not know. How, how do you not? How do you know if the jade egg's the jade egg or if it's a lump of shit that got caught in your pussy? I do think it's supposed to really hurt you if you leave it in too long. I think it starts to like grow roots or something. All I know is, is that I've had that jade egg. I have a jade egg inside of me for the last 12 hours and I feel like an old school mouse. <laughs> Remember with the ball at the end of it? Um, but again, oh, yes, the computer mouse. Calm. I there you have go. I'll sub you around my keyboard a little bit. God, my nipples when are ready this, to go. When does this trial end? I think it's like six months long. <laughs> it's very long, but I point, can't get enough of her coverage. I can't get enough. I hope she, but, apparently, she's got it a whole other day on the stand. It is just, that is real prime time television because oh, you just find out all about the stuff she got mad because she's like she had to up her chiropractor appointment by like three three goes she had to go I to the know. chiropractor like three more times and again oh, God. It, it, we should all be so lucky it is just so funny to hear people like, and, and, and what are you gonna do i'm she, just making fun of it because it's available to me made fun right. of. and you know she's she's uh you know nepotism she's comes from wealth so this is just their lives so they're just talking about their lives and that's oh, fine. of course absolutely it is just funny because then their words fall upon our ears and we're like, this is a problem for you. I can't even, I can't even, fa- well, like nothing just showed, in our oh, life would ever, we will never have this problem. Well, the main issue was because when she left the scene of the crime, she if did not, she pa- did. whatever happened, she did not pat, she did not like say to him, like, are you, like, it seems like she let her like, her live-in ski instructor, man, how big is her home? She let her like, man, and like, the, like the, the, again, the second wave nanny, they were the ones yes. that like handled all of the but stuff afterwards. Otherwise, but still, she said, this, I thought that this was taken care of because again, if she, I definitely think she's like, he could know, I know he could speak to me. I was in shallow hell. I, <laughs> I am of the people. You should be uh, able to speak to me. But yes, she thought that the, the issue was over no. and that it was handled, but then it turned out it was not because then he didn't bring up the lawsuit too much later. No, and so it does seem like he's just looking for money, but we're going to, we'll find out how much he gets in the very for end. For some reason, she did apologize for shallow hell. Maybe not the most, um, uh, let's say. Uh, it doesn't stand the sta- the test it, of time. It might not. Yeah, it's not the most, whatever. But the one funny thing about it is George Costanza has a tail. I remember. Do you remember that? He's like, I remember. Dee, 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 dee. He like winked it around. He waved no, it around. I remember. Um, which and was he, that pretty is certainly, funny. That didn't but, bring a star down at all. No, it didn't. He's fantastic. And he's, I think he won an Oscar. And I think he was so successful, he even went to Epstein Island. Now, when it comes whoa, to. Whoa, 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 whoa. When it comes to Gwyneth, though, just lastly, in her, I don't know why I'm just defending her. It's just because I saw her boobs in Shakespeare in Love and I you will always I, love her. This is kind of why I did this today because I wanted to feel like how it felt to be a pretty woman in front of you yeah. and what that, what that, oh, all the you, you can do whatever you want, really. Yeah, 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 being like, hey, oh. babe, I <laughs> live in your house now, babe. There you go. Come on yeah. in there. That's real nice. <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, it's so you're so hot and sexy. Mm, 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 yes. You sound like Detective have, Popcorn's like things, nephew, man. niece. Um, mm. Okay. She I'm the girl you want, babe. I don't want anyone. So she said that she had to leave because otherwise there'd be a crowd of people because that's true. She's a international well, celebrity. The biggest issue I have in her coverage was they asked her, they did the thing where like, you know, normally in any other trial, we would ask the witnesses to explain, mm. to introduce themselves and tell a little bit about their history. But we all think we're all well aware of Mrs. Paltrow's story. I don't. And she yeah. should have like, I do think that Gwen Paltrow should have just been like, no, my name's fucking Gwyneth Tennifer Paltrow, Something Ricardo, like that. whatever yeah. her real name is. And then, and then like, yeah, you know, I was a hard scrapple street bitch back in the day, acting my way all the way through bit bopping my way through Coney Island. Like well, I, we needed to hear the whole story. I about. agree, and we don't really know who she is. She's an entrepreneur. We don't know who she is. She's using her an actor. Honestly, I would prefer, I actually would love a look in. 
I'd love a view in to see what it was like in that beautiful noggin of yours. Well, I think she tried to do something during uh, COVID where she was talking about how life was real hard. And her she said business. she was forced to eat bread. Yeah. And, and I, but again, she is a special woman that has not dealt with funny? a global pandemic. She also was not expecting. But see, that's how hot she is. I'm like, that's kind of cute. <laughs> yes, yes. She's the opposite of a rat. Live from your grave. A uh, little bit more of an update. Mm. Here's an update. Uh, the Stephen Smith. Uh, uh, it oh, is now, now this that is case. okay. So let's just take one. Whoop. Slightly more serious. They went at and rich people hitting each other on a ski slope. Yes, Stephen Smith. Now we know that Steven. this was the young man that was found dead in South Carolina, oh. and this was kind of tangentially connected to the Murdoch family. But it looks like that that is now being his death is now being opened up as a homicide. And when so it, it looks comes like to, the hits are going to keep on coming for the Murdochs. Which member of the Murdoch family could possibly be it? He's not that aren't it's dead the or one a alive one. Buster. Oh, Buster is they are coming for Buster. So apparently this family is quickly becoming something of a horrific legend. Well, um, did you how see- many deaths have to be tied to one family? Well, I've never seen anything like this. We think of how long it took for him to get flipped. I was thinking about this the other day. So it's like, all right, so a maid can die, what happens? Right, they didn't care. The other girl can be killed in a uh, in a drunken boating accident. They decided to throw that two under people. the rug. That's fine. Boom, boom, boom. That, if there that was only those fixed. two people, nothing would have happened. Nothing would have happened. They would. They, those were fixed already. Those were already done. Then you have like you know, obviously he. But what really got him again was him trying to steal money from other old like Southern boys. Yeah, right? he, he stole, stole from exactly. the wrong pot. And so he stole from the wrong pot. So that's when they decided to all flip on him. But if he had just killed that one unconnected woman and the, I know he didn't. But I, I label him. I he now that Alec Murdoch the is the only family, one that's live. The he whole gets it. fucking family yeah. is a bunch so of murderers. It's it's very interesting to see. But so I this, hope that there's some justice in his case because it's extremely sad how like how deeply that case was buried and now it's mm-hmm. getting pulled out. It, it, but it, it, I just wish that not everybody had to die for there to be justice because it'd be nice if like you know. If he could have seen it. So the determination was, was that Smith died in a hit and run, yes. but that's highly. That's what they said, quote ant- unquote. And sure, 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 sure. antithetical to what they've been finding in all of the reports, in all yes. the autopsy reports. And uh, so hopefully after they exhume the body uh, and get some more evidence, we'll figure out what the hell happened to this poor boy. I hope. And I no hope that they matter what, it out. Um, it's just. Man, stop. This family just has so much murder and death around it. Something's going on. Something is and, going uh, on. And I mean, it's already been, it's at least we got so some justice, but the rest is going to come. But it shows how much we have to go just to catch a C team Illuminati. That is really, a the C, worst. That is like a small little version of, and you're in everybody's town. We all got to have that. Los Angeles, we have, um, I mean, whoever Tom Hanks isn't involved with in a giant spider of accusations. I don't know what what's up with uh, Tom Hanks. But he's the center. He's fine. Tom Hanks is technically fine. He's like too innocent. Oh, that's what they say. Um, All right. Yeah. With Buster, though, it is interesting because the cops were like, he's on our radar since 2015. Oh, yeah. And they were like, uh, we're being harassed. We're being harassed by the police. That's what Buster's saying. Yeah, and Buster. I'll need these. I need these aforementioned police oleas to get off of my lawn. And he is definitely straight. Well, yeah, <laughs> like the um, whole family. Anyway, poor. here we go, Mister Mar- Um, All right, now this next story I love because you know what, man? I, I uh, maybe I'll put it this way: I totally believe. This story to be real. Why do you believe what story to be real? Because there's a lot of them that probably aren't. This story takes place down in the Ozarks, and it's a place we are familiar with. This is down the James River. This is James River truck. How now, are we familiar with that? Pastor Lind, I'll show you. Pastor John Lindell. He said mm-hmm. a creative miracle took place on March 15th. Oh. And it was something that no one ever thought would ever happen. Toes coming back. I'm really upset with all the toe talk lately between toe beans. Toe beans, uh, but this is, I mean, I don't make the news, brother. The the news comes from me. This comes from me. This is is James River Church, Pastor John Lindell. He said, apparently God performed a creative miracle. Chrissy Thompson was shot three times in 2015 by her her husband, right? In her toe. No, I don't know. She was just in a coma, but apparently okay. the injuries included needing can, the toes yes. to be off. Can we just say, though, he's not calling it a miracle. He's calling it a, quote, 
creative miracle. Yes, which, which is very means different. she has a fucking fake toe. No, no. <laughs> That's what that means. I mean, I don't even know because I ain't even seen one of these goddamn toes. Now, Miss Dines speaker. was she was forced not just to have one toe removed, by the way. It was three toes. Well, here we go. Guest speaker, Pastor Bill Johnson. Now, the reason why we know Pastor Bill Johnson, because he was a part of the Bethel Church community that tries to ra- try to raise a toddler from the dead with prayer uh, a couple years back, right? Do you remember Again. that where they did the group prayer trying to bring it yes. back and it didn't work? Creative miracles. All right. Now, he went up there and he said, I was in a bottle need a creative miracle. Now, Chrissy's like, yes, I did. Yes, I did. And here comes straight. This is from this is from the toes mouth itself. This is a testimony from Chrissy Thompson. Now, if you I'll hear you. So you can hear exactly how it went down. I'm going to play this for you and then we'll play it on the we'll play it on the show. So I had three toes that were amputated in a, in a terrible accident. I heard the word for creative miracles and I thought, well, I certainly have a creative miracle that I might need. I need three toes to grow back. The person next to me said, do you want new toes? And I was like, well, sure. All the women got down and they prayed over my foot. And I decided to take my shoe off to see what was happening when he said, let's see the progress or if anything's happened. And when I did, I had to grab the person next to me and say, do you see what I see? And I saw three toes that were forming and now there's length to them. Tonight, I can stand on my tippy toes. Wait, Listen, well, do you understand? I can stand on tippy toes. No, I couldn't do that because I didn't have toes to I didn't, tippy on. No, I didn't have toes. Her, and name honestly, was, her name was Chrissy Dines. Her name is still Chrissy Thompson. It, it, it was the video Chrissy Thompson. They've changed her name. Her real they name real, is Christina Sue Dines. Yes. But they changed it to Thompson? Yes, they changed it. But you know Why what? Why did the they worst, change it? The worst part is, well, I'll tell. I'll, sh- I'll show you. Now they're trying to. <laughs> here, here we go. All right. So this was. It started as her her real name, right? They went and got her. Kelly, who was her, like saying, like Kelly was the one that said, "Hi, you want some toes? You want some toes? Right. I'll take a couple of toes. I'm missing three. So she went down there and the shit. In the name of Jesus, the toes to grow bone to form and blood to flow. She also anointed every area where the toes had been amputated and could feel a pulse begin in those areas. And the color began to change from gray to skin tone. And all of a sudden, Chrissy said, are you kidding me? And they saw that the toes began to grow. Yes, And indeed. the worst part is, honestly, is that they, they just kept growing. They did, and you're going to want to stop those from growing. We might have a shoe story a little bit later they on. Yeah, the took- pastor says, as the ladies prayed for Christy over the next Christy over the next thirty, 30 minutes, minutes of prayer, That's all it. three toes grew, and by that point, were longer than her pinky toe. <laughs> Within an hour, nails began to grow. The Lord he on gives all toes. Of her toes. Well, the also, Lord he gives. If you have the ability to make someone Wolverine. This is what you're going to do? I mean, I just find it really, really Uh, funny. Because I got a couple of inches I'd like to add, if you know what I'm talking about. (laughs) The circumference of my butthole. Uh, Um, So now there's also a website called showmethetoes.com. Oh, well, this is the thing. So now show me the toes. um, Showmethetoes.com is coming out. And just ask them a simple question that everybody else asks. I know I asked even my Gwyneth Paltrow form. Show me these fucking toes. Show me the toes. I want to see these toes. And so at um, first they said, right, that they, they, what they did was that Chrissy Thompson's the fake name for this woman, right? Yes. So what they did was that after the fact, they said, how dare all of you ask for proof of these toes? And here's a response from Pastor John Lindell that owns the whole thing, right? Yes. So this is why he said why they aren't releasing the toe footage. Uh, the girl, Chrissy in Joplin, which has been really, really unfortunate. She's uh, had a lot of trauma in her life. And it breaks my heart uh, to see people do that uh, towards her because her miracle is real. It's genuine. Uh, People are saying, well, if it's genuine, why aren't you why aren't you doing anything with it to publicize it? There's a couple of reasons that I want to say to you. First of all, um, I'm less interested in proving to people what I know God did than I am in protecting sheep who are vulnerable. They I made an entire video right. with her and they and her going, my toes are oh. going. And then now he's saying <laughs> that they, they pulled. Now well, they're protecting. Her. You got to take you got to make some money somehow in the super church. And this is, of course, a mega church. The guy looks like he drives a Subaru and eats that peanut butter that has a bunch of oil on. What top are you talking about? He's got the cool like racer jacket. I don't know. So this is what. Again, go to showmethetoes.com. Show me the toes. He says to, to close out his fantastic website, which I'm so happy he took all this time. I uh, said, he well, says, because we want to see the goddamn toes. I know. He says, it's obvious 
that they never thought what John shared from the stage would end up creating the viral Facebook post. What are you talking about? Go at the toes top back. of this page. I'm in the middle of fucking recouping my toes. I know you are. He says, if there is proof, show it. So go to showmethetoes.com and have a little breakdown of this. Uh, you know what? This is what Facebook is for. It really this is. This is the only thing it should be used for. You never oh, yeah. solve anything real. But the thing is, show me the toes. And if we do get to see these toes, it, you, to be fair, they could just show anyone's fucking toes. I mean, toes. that's the thing. Just we cheat, don't even, just don't, just don't, you don't have to try hard. Just show us some toes. And then, you know, like, I guess we're going to have to call the, uh, the you know, I'm not going to, I'm not even going to make one of my jokes. My m- one little funny jokes about who loves toes. Because we all know who loves toes. You're the only sports coach that you know. Yes, the man from the Jets. Rex Ryan. Yes, that guy. I'm not going to do that again. But do you think that if her toes are growing back, you think she's going to eat them again? I don't know. <laughs> how the fuck did she lose them? She said she, got, off. she said she got shot three times and then some yada, yada, yada. The lost toes three toes. The toes I'm gone. starting to think she never lost any toes at all. Maybe she was just curling them and then she unfurled them and it was like, the toes are growing. The toes She's are growing. Like, oh, my God. Oh, you know, sometimes I mean, she to be could, honest, she could have gained a lot of foot fat. And then the toes are hitting because you know how and like, they lost it. Oh, I was doing that say, today when I got into the shower. I was putting my fupa back. Oh, my yeah, fat of course. Penis area, and that, I was like, that's the real that ding dong. And then, but I was, then the fupa would go back and I was like, Oh, that ding dong now, there's a little turtle now. But you know they say, every 10 pounds you lose, you get an inch of dick. Yeah, but you still have the dick. You actually don't have to lose the weight. You just have to lie on your back and hope you, hopefully you have well, a my, giving partner. What I'm trying to do is, honestly, also, the goal that's is to when get the dick is the biggest is when you're on the, the ground. The goal is to just get too fat so you can't, like, you have to lay down. You have to that's lay down. Fucking goal. That's the dream. <laughs> that's right? the dream. And that's how, oh, that's how I like it, Quentin Paltrow. <laughs> that's my favorite when a man's down like a low. Oh, she can do I all can the pretend, work. I can pretend he's dead because that's what I like most, the dead hard man. Well, Henry, I'm Queenie's Pietro. There's a story that actually goes with all of this stuff. Sexual, hot drugs. Ooh, okay, yeah. All right. A dominatrix, which I don't oh, understand. Oh, yeah, this story. This, this is a fantastic story. And also, dominatrixes, they serve a much needed, needed purpose. Function. Absolutely. Please, God, if you are a super villain, billionaire, go get your nuts smacked before Honestly, you go to Twitter. And if you are um, spanking a super, super... um. Make uh, them bleed. If you're if you're if you're spanking an evil man, every single time you spank him, do it like a give money the poor, just like to the Always. straight to the center of his ear, because then he'll start to connect the sexual feeling. Dude, I've seen to some giving money to the poor. I've seen some documentation. Some of these guys can get their. Fu- I don't know how they do it with their nuts. Oh, anyway, no, I mean that's she was a Russian-born dominatrix. Dare I say? That's the one you want. You don't want a Polish dominatrix because they'll just make you a bunch of pierogies. So her name was that Victoria. I know, but that's not the point. You're supposed to be, I think, some sort of a, you're paying, you're paying, you're uh, paying penance, to be, yes, you're penance. paying to feel, because it's fun to have not, I think the, the goal is to not have control. Victoria Nasirova, she was a, conv- she was convicted of attempted murder, okay, uh, because she was about to kill her pal, right? Now, how was she going to do it? Well, she delivered a cheesecake to him, but it turns out, and they, she delivered this to a queen's jail. It turns out the cheesecake, oh my God, it was laced with fentanyl. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And yes, 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 so yes, yes. Uh, it turns out that it was all bad, and then you're not supposed to have fentanyl laced cake, although we don't know what it would taste like. Um, I mean, I would, t- I mean, if some people just use, and they use, like actually use fentanyl. Well, and like it. Yeah, you're supposed to use very, very, very little amounts oh, of fentanyl. Like truffle oil. Yes, it is. So the Russian-born dominatrix convicted of attempted murdering her pal was arrested Tuesday for allegedly well, trying to that smuggle the fentanyl. was merely a misunderstanding. It was a misunderstanding to trying to smuggle fentanyl ice pot into a queen's jail. Christopher Hoyt was visiting his client, Nasarova, at, at the uh, Q's Garden uh, lockup. I don't know why it's called Q's Gardens. Q's Gardens, I it's think it's not, because uh, it's Q's is the name, and it's not a it's not a plural name. It's not r- multiple Q. It's Q's. Q's Garden, but it just doesn't sound like there's any amusement parks or anything. Anyway, he went to visit her, and when he was arrested, and then the stunning turn of events resulted in the adjournment of Nasarova's scheduled sentencing on Tuesday. And this is according to the DOC Commissioner Luis Molina. They said, we have zero tolerance for anyone's staff contract providers, visitors, and attorneys who attempt to smuggle contraband into her jail. But this isn't the one that attacked her 
attorney, right? Wasn't someone we discovered somebody that just did that attack their attorney named Show Business and gave the guy the Show Business? No, I don't think this was. The drugs were laced with fentanyl, and other officers found it yet another example of what jail and correctional systems across the country gotta are deal with, dealing with daily. Hey, we listen, we got a lot of messages from CEOs from across the country, and it is an extremely difficult job. It's a very stressful job, and you got to keep your head on a swivel, but you also don't want to get turned out. Right. You want to find out that all of a sudden you're part of some other guy's game. Right. Helping right. smuggle drugs in there unless you're getting a cut. So make sure, CEOs, if you're smuggling, you get that vague. Also, you know, the person you try to kill, it was her friend and lookalike. Yes, that was Olga the, that's the story. Olga Dix. Yes, she was she was killing a woman to try to uh, assume her life. Yeah, well, now her attorney's in big trouble. <laughs> well, there you go. Hey, well, that is a great. That is great. And you got to be careful out there, guys, because if you're going to kill your double, make sure you do it. Again, yeah, you it, really do want to do it. You got to make sure that that is that is handled because if not, if your double knows, if I know my double try to kill me and then didn't make it, I know I'm going to be making shit hard for my fucking so-called replacement person. That's yeah. for fucking certain because nobody can replace these tits. Nobody no can replace can. this mind. Nobody can replace this attitude, and nobody can replace this honestly worrisome blood pressure. You know, this is kind of a funny sentence here that, that I could see if you were charged with a crime. Nasarova, she left her DNA all over the cheesecake box. <laughs> we see them come. <laughs> no. We see them come when I eat. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, hey, you know, I I should be coming while I eat because we ain't got much time left, according to one TikToker. Because man, fuck it, smoke them if you got them, guys. Because the end times are rolling up. This is a real story. This is fucking real. I mean, I it's re- it's careful. as real as a TikTok story can it be. It is why I am transitioning to Gwyneth Paltrow in court. All right? That is my no problem, personality. Man. That's you who I that. am now. Right? You should do that. So Eno Alaric this is a TikToker. Hey, some people call us prophecies outlandish. I call them right on the fucking money. All right? <laughs> This is Show a time- me the toes. Show me the goddamn toes, you know, Alark. All right, the alleged, this is a time traveler. It's predicting forthcoming world major events. Now, there's some people that are saying that so far it's been entirely inaccurate. But I say, fuck you, you fucking old bitch. Well, what I'll are kill the, you and your family. What are some of the inaccuracies? Because there's well, also people saying and speculating that the UFOs were seen are time traveling individuals coming back to see where course. it went wrong. Also, as we talked it's about before cr- the show, AI says November 3rd, start of World War III. Maybe he's onto something. Uh, who knows? This time traveler, you know, he has claimed because again, the way we know that his prediction came real is that the world did not end. He did it wrong. See, he no, he did it right. Why? Because, no, he see, did it too soon. No, no, no. Because he said he said an inv- an alien invasion that he said he predicted, he said, did happen. Right? It's happened, and eight thousand people have been abducted. But God, why were they abducted? Why to save us? From the distance. 8,000. Do you think that's going to be enough? <laughs> Do they have said, guns? Because they're going to need guns. A alien named the Champion came to no. um, um, Earth. This is true. He came down to Earth. He said, welcome to Earth. Right? This he is showed true. Up. All right. This was, it did all happen. March I hope he didn't 23rd, go skiing. Okay. 7.30 p.m. EST, right after dinner, no. if you're an early person. Right. He said a time traveler that came and he said what he stole from what he took. Right now, the time traveler, he's from the year 2671. Which is also, I don't really particularly understand because I don't know. I, the world has ended. Why are, why are you alive? But still. Well, he's a time traveler. Yes, but yeah. he time traveled to fix all these problems, but where he has, well, I guess these he problems w- have happened. Well, I, we're, we're, we'll get there. There's and a lot so, of problems with the math. There's a, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of flaws, but at the same time, just think yeah. of the spirit. All right? right. What he said is that the champion came and saved us from these aliens that are also coming after it. So there's 8,000 yeah. people. Now, he said that that's how we know that we Why live. 8,000? Because it, it's in the prophecy. Okay. All right. And he said, now, these are the people. They stole around 200 doctors, 1,000 farmers, 1,000 <laughs> engineers and mechanics. And he said, the perfect people that we needed to defend us in space. Now, they are currently those 8,000 people that were taken. Two days ago are now three, five days ago are now on a four year journey into space where they're going to fight a series of aliens called the distance. OK, so right? we're sending, we're sending doctors coming. and farmers to go fight an alien race that has a military named Thank the distance. Thank you, Joe Biden. So why wouldn't we take why? I, why? Hmm. I do like that this man has so much respect for the American farmer. Oh, very much so. And for and for doctors, sure. But do I want them fighting? Because we know farmers, they work really hard, but they're mostly like, oh, that's a, uh, <laughs> well, a lot of them are looking for some rain. Uh, <laughs> I, do like, I don't want them fighting. Though, we they're need, looking you, for a fight. We need we need the Crips. 
maybe some rednecks. Honestly, we need like be... people that want to fight. This is an incredible movie about rounding up, uniting the gangs to get him up to fight in space. Because, well, I that mean, is one of the theories about aliens that would be kind of nice. It would be. That's what Attack the Block was about a little bit. Oh, yes, I, yeah. exactly. But now we see the world didn't end. So, so far, he's correct. And he has a couple other big ones. So, April 9th. And I want our audience to write these down because we have to find out if this is real so or not. So, this is what, 12 days from now? Yes. Yeah, so, April 9th, a okay. very famous celebrity is going to reveal they fake their death. All right, number one. June 12th, who an the, earthquake. Who? This is yeah, a very famous celebrity. I mean, the one thing is... He I doesn't think, want to spoil it. This is like a blind item. I think Andy Kaufman would be dead even if he didn't die. At this so point. I think he is dead. Michael Jackson probably doesn't want to come back. I, would, I the, think he should stay I, away. I think yeah. he's just like, I'm just going to chill. Yeah, I think he's out. I Tupac think he's out would be like 5, 50, 60 something. I would have loved to have seen the, the music that Tupac would have made. Well, you know how it goes. You know, who knows? You got to cash in. You got to uh, make so, that. He would be doing like Dollar General or... Uh, the general with uh, Shaquille O'Neal. But just so you know, we'll make this, that money. I don't care. But this is not just that. On 420, a huge tornado is going to take place in the city of Tulsa, Oklahoma. On May 15th, a mega tsunami is going to destroy the West Coast of the United States Dude, of America. This guy it's is going, already in the mail. He's so smoke wrong. him if you got him. This guy is he's making okay. This, this is, is the June mistake. 12th, no. the big one. That's a 9.5 magnitude earthquake. It's going to open up a five mile deep rip that is going to unleash uh, unleash a series of creatures we thought were only in our imaginations. First of all, he's over predicting. It's going to be unicorns. All, it would be the woolly mammoth because we're bringing that back. It's going to be is, the perfect man. This, no, that doesn't exist. <laughs> Thank you. No, <laughs> what this man is doing is wrong because Lord Rael. What do we learn? Bad things happen. Then you claim post, responsibility. Post so you post. You say, yes, that's what I predicted. I predicted those storms. I predicted that, yes, Gwyneth Paltrow would be found innocent at trial only after she's found innocent at trial. Of course. That's how you do it. He's making a massive mistake. He's putting the carpet before the horse. You got you to gotta claim responsibility. You don't claim you don't project what you think is going to happen. He's on some form of new. Well, this is there's something he's got to line on it because oh, you should you better hope he's correct because I don't says, hope he's correct. No, you you better hope because in 2024 he says human animal communication is going to become possible. Dude, I just watched a video with a with one of those little talkie birds, the parrots. Girl, yeah, and it was fucking <laughs> hilarious, bro. I'll send it to you. Anyway, <laughs> the little talkie birds. Little talkie. It was, it's really funny. I'll I'll send it to you. What are they saying? Like, fuck, Dude, fuck you. Like, yeah, he's like, come here, come here. I won't hurt you. With any hurt, sir. <laughs> okay, so let's move on. Did the man predict no, what do you this? Mean, no, what do you mean move on? Did the man predict this? A Holly man was accused of entering a daycare, right? So he, this dude in New Orleans County, right? Mm -hmm. He walks into a daycare. It's Clarkson County Daycare. Mm -hmm. yeah, sure, and sure, it sure, was sure, closed. Sure, sure. The daycare what? was closed. Oh, he yeah, and he's just like, my blocks are in there. He stole diapers and formula and left notes behind indicating he wanted to pretend to be a baby girl. <laughs> so his name is Daniel Sealer, 65, and he went in there to the child care place, and he's like, I want to be a baby girl. So then he took a bunch of shit, like diapers and stuff, and then he left a bunch of notes being like, I'm a baby girl. Well, you know what? But then I they arrested I his that. ass like he's a grown ass man. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because he's not really a baby. He, he wanted no. to be a thing called Baby Danielle. Mm. And the director said. Baby Danielle sounds like one of the, like a true crime story where a baby's stuck in a well or something. Yeah, maybe. They always find. They always get him out. I, I, I just wish that one time they would just seal it up. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> actually, uh, we took a look at a lot of the, the, the paperwork there, and it turns out it's the Antichrist. The director of the uh, little uh, daycare says the notes included size for pants, shoes, bras, and dresses, okay. with the man indicating he likes to play as a baby girl and call himself Baby Danielle. Again, I don't give a fuck what you do, but you can't be stealing the diapers. From the goddamn daycare. I just find it interesting that he left the notes because obviously he wants them to know. He actually kind of wants them to. He's looking for a, like a stylist, like a baby, like an adult to baby stylist. He's looking for an adult to baby stylist. He also Which, uh, Gwyneth Paltrow has had for like that's like f number five on her team. That is the only thing she is some, you know, whatever. She could eat bread, but I'm also not going to be like, maybe you need to eat some bread. She can be whatever she wants because she's Gwyneth Paltrow. Um, so they also found that he drank some of the bottle formula. He used a bib. I mean, that, and that's he stole disgusting. three diapers. But you Honestly, can't... if this was Japan, there would be a full scale like restaurant completely devoted to that there, lifestyle. I'm sure that there is. Can you I'm sure oh, yeah. that there is. Honestly, I'd be down for some adult baby wow. food. And the weird... because some, I don't really. I mean, it'd be nice. Sometimes I think about like I like chewing. Like I do. Like I like eating. I like the sure, sensation of sure, it. Of like course. I don't mind it. I actually find it sensual. I like in to its own chew. Way. I, I don't like. 
Oh, God, when we were at, uh, we had a great time at WonderCon last weekend. We went to a bar called The Cave, and they have slurps. Oh, shots. slurps. And it was, it was when we talked about whaling, it's that spermaceti. Spermaceti. It tasted like spermaceti. I thought spermaceti was Ugh. just what an Italian man left on a woman's belly. Hello. Come on. No Italians, they only come <laughs> to brokerage. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Don't even, that, that, that's what they do. They're strong Italians. That's my president. Anyway, God, I just I'm sex. I'm attracted to me. Just wearing a soft sweater. I know you. I are. need to do this one. I need my white lotus like moment. I know. I you need to are. become like. I feel like this is fun for me. Like like resort me. Yeah, it's kind of fun. It's nice. Right from your grave. Well, speaking of come before we get to hero of the week, this is gonna last 14 seconds here. Serial sperm donor, he uh, fathered 550 kids. He's being sued because oh, he yeah. increased the risk of incest. Oh yeah, uh, in in uh, Deutsch in in Dutch in the Netherlands. Oh yes. So he increased it by like a lot. There's so that, apparently a bunch of his kids are fucking each other and they didn't know. Of course, because they don't know, and because they, they don't have to technically. I don't think they have to tell you. Like it's a whole um, thing, and they have to go and find that out. I think he actually. Yeah, it seems like there's. It looks That's like bad. there's some people that were born. Kind of inbred there. Oh yes, very much so. Yeah, it's not good. And, and it, it, there was only been regulation on that field for only a short period of time. There's a documentary on Netflix about it too, but the doctor yeah, that, that was dealing was real, with yeah, real growth. At least this guy was on the up and up. I mean, people. Well, he donated sperm to at least thirteen clinics. Yeah, at least, yeah, they. It's more on the like why are we taking this much cum from one man. Also, if you just look at the guy, it's just it's incredible that he. They were just like that's, that's the one we want. Well, honestly, they don't know, and he's just there making. He's just getting the fifty dollars. I think how much was it? To, I forgot. I had friends that did the sperm bank. I want to say it was like, it's like not much. It's like fifteen bucks. Because yeah, sperm it's is easy. Not much. You yeah. could just get sperm. Oh yeah. I mean, if you just if that's all you're looking for, I got a, I got a couple locations where it can be pretty easily slammed inside. Also, I would say you know if I would, I would hope if I was a lady and I needed sperm for to be a to be a mama, um, I would hope I would have a friend, much like um the the singer songwriter with Bill Melissa uh, Etheridge. Melissa Etheridge with uh, Crosby. I wouldn't choose a drug addict. Well, he was a brilliant to, musician. But he's a brilliant musician, yes. But um, but they didn't do it the old fashioned way. I think that they did. No, no, he came on a postage stamp and then she sat on <laughs> it. No, no, she did, no, he didn't. They didn't have. She's a lesbian. No, I know, but. I mean, you, you don't just, you know, because also my you brother, don't know my take brother got laid all the time in middle school, or but not still, in middle school, in high school. No, I mean, like, no, but I feel like that's like, I, 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 man, I'm going to go on a limb here. I feel like that makes things really complex if you just fuck a man randomly. No, it's not. I'm saying to have a friend. Yeah, but, but I you think can either, you're you talking can, about a sexual, you're talking about a rom-com. I'm that talking it's not about, been. I'm talking about, jerk, 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 sit on it, sit on it, <laughs> <laughs> Melissa. <laughs> Melissa, Melissa, come, in. Melissa, yeah. come yeah. and sit on it. Yeah, yeah. And, and then, then she's just she's <sighs> at the window because of the song. Yes. Go to my window. And again, if Maybe she's that's too what slow, it's about. If she doesn't make it on time, give me 15 minutes. Maybe what she decides is that if I just put my butt up against this open window and look <laughs> forward, it doesn't matter what's going on back there. As long as then I hear just her like, I just hear like do 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 as he comes, and yeah. then I know that's David Crosby. <laughs> that's really fun. Uh, We're gonna I, get emails no immediately. One, no one knows the song that you referenced. Do 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 do. All right, everyone. Let's move on to Hero of the Week. Now, this week's Hero of the Week is actually two things. One is a cow, because I don't know why. Cows are just really on the up and up these days. Uh, there's a cow who was born with a smiley face on it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's, a new, it's a newborn calf with a smiley face. And uh, the, name of the, how, the name of the cow is Happy. Uh, it, it will probably be killed at some point. <laughs> but that'll be a good stake. And then another hero of the this week. This is a good one. This is a real one. This is a child, but he's the size of a man. And I can relate to him. He is, I believe, 14 years old. He is six foot 10. And his shoes are 22. They are size well, 22. Well, now it's 23. That's the problem. His 22s are too tight. He might need to get his grand gland. He might have gigantism. He might need to get it nipped. Because oh, yeah. if Andre the Giant would have done that, he would have lived. The Big Show had to do that, or he would have died. Really? Yeah, you can get it. You because his body. If he's, I guess he's only fourteen. Holy fuck, though. Dang. Yeah. Anyway, he's a, big, he's a unit, man. So because of that, he's six foot ten. I uh, again, I think he is good at sports, which is really good for him. Yeah, he's playing. Um, he's good. But then uh, Puma says. 
because his mom couldn't find any shoes. Uh, Puma said, we'll make you shoes. That's awesome. I love the new Mellows, man. I love these fucking... I, like, Puma's stepping up in a big way in terms so of shoes. the company has offered to help Kilburns. His name is Eric Kilburn. And uh, they're Under Armour and Puma, both of which have already scheduled representatives to come to Michigan to begin oh. fitting Eric that's, for shoes. See, that's where you see... That's why every day I wake up and I thank corporations. Every day. Because I know that, you know, if anybody's going to make it equal... It's corporations. Every day. Every day I think of them. And what's nice about these shoes is that when he's done with them, the rest of his family could go and live inside them. There you go. Real nice <laughs> joke there from. <laughs> 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 That's me. Bah, 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 no, I'm Gwyneth Paltrow. Oh, Ben. There's no. No. <laughs> Apparently, to Puma says there's no mold for this size because it's such a rarity. So anyway. Well, how big are Shaq's feet? I think the, his are 22. I want to no say no way. He's got bigger, feet dude. Than I don't Shaq. think so. I think this guy's. Yeah, I think this kid really does. Again, he might need to get that little gland nipped in the bud, but he's only 14. So that's so weird. The first thing everyone says, how big are Shaq's hands? No, oh, it's Shaq's feet. Yeah, 22. Yeah. So Rebecca has formed. I think that's his mom or some. Well, she that's formed what he a says big that. shoe network group on Facebook. Another reason for Facebook, and again, only for this. Oh, and the Shaq actually says that he's actually a size twenty, but he wears a size twenty two because he was always forced to wear shoes that were too small when he was a young man. So now we wear shoes that are too big. I think that that we're just gonna let him have his logic. We are, and I love Shaq. But, that's what's uh, called a little bit of self Shaq gnosis. Why not just get <laughs> shoes to fit? That's a good. That's an idea. Well, this makes me feel like a real shrimp because I'm just a size 14. Yeah, man, you're just a little guy. And also this kid, he looks like he's athletic. So that'll be good for him because mm -hmm. it's, it's an awakening nightmare. Well, 6'10", um, you can be a fucking center. You, that's like, that's good size. That's good. Center, it's right? good. It's just, you know, life is life is going to be much harder for him. And then especially it's with that size shoe. I mean, you know, again, he has to make, he needs, people talk about, uh, you know, pink tax and all these things. This man, his life is going to cost about five times more. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Because sure, everything sure, sure, sure. has to be custom made and oh, used. Oh, yeah. And then all the, the super, super big sizes always cost more and it's hard to carry them because it's hard to find six foot they ten also, people. I mean, also I know this is a, and only he's only a teenager, but they say he's big shoes. You know what that means? Oh, real smart in school. Real God smart in school. God, God. Really God. smart in school. Oh, God. We're going to get fucking. No, I'm one of him. Viscerate. I'm six I know foot you're seven. allowed to talk about it. Yeah, I'm only three inches shorter than this kid. No, it's just don't ask how deep his fupa is. <laughs> That's when we're going to get ourselves into some sort of Gary Glitter like situation. Ugh. No, Gary Glitter would. This kid would. I wish Gary would have to meet this. Gary, we have a 14 year old for to meet. Yeah. Oh. Hey, dun, Gary. Dun. Heard your song at the game today. Fucking kick his still ass. Still playing his song. Just kick his ass. Do they buy? They don't still play that song, right? Oh, I think do that they do, bro. Da, 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 because da. I didn't know that was him until like last year. Maybe it's just like, well, actually, Sony owns it now, so yeah, no, yeah, I, so we don't. We're certainly not a I am, pedophile over here at Sony. <laughs> I am sure that they still play it. I'm oh, yeah, sure, sure that they do. All right, here we go. Anyway, big update <sighs> on Ohio animals from our listeners. Basically. I received, this is one of those things when you get a big old roundup of emails that all say the same thing. It's kind of, it's wild. You know how many people think that zebras fucking suck? And how talk about that, how violent zebras like, are. They're, they're not nice. They're extremely aggressive. I could see so that. So one person put it in a really interesting way of like, in a world of predators in Africa, yeah. zebra has to live as a main food source of many Many of these predators. Right, because they don't seem like if it's battle bots, they have more defensive armory. They don't really have an aggressive armory. They bite. They bite like a motherfucker ah. and they kick. And they, like, a lot of people mm. say that they even just horse fighting is very like that, very violent. And I want, I think that's the first thing in horse picks that I want to do is to do more like, I feel like it'd be fun to do a full like horse versus horse. That's a good wrestling well, they, they foundation. Banned, they banned horse diving. I actually think as a people, we're going in the opposite direction of horse on horse combat. Yeah. But, uh, but then again, what the fuck do I know? We're I having, know. Slapping is I'm, now a fight. I'm just, making a thing, so. I'm just trying to give the audience what they beg for. And more people have said, I wish I was in a small room watching two horses fight. I wish that uh, you, we could bring it back with mechanical mechanical horses. Just jousting. And then you don't get the blood. And no, but I want, the, I want the people to hit each other on when they're going real fast. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Gwyneth Paltrow's aggressive skiing competition. Whoa. That's a great ski fucking. It'd be like that video game, Hot Tubin. Hot Tubin. Oh, yeah. Hot Tubin. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that was. So zebras are actually quite violent. When females go into estrus and or give birth, males are competitive and will, like many other animals, kill offspring they suspect aren't theirs. 
There's a gruesome nature episode of a male zebra brutally killing a foal. But during the same Ugh. time, they will Ugh. fight heinously with each other. Horses and other equines are actually quite violent when they combat each other. Wild horses also have more teeth than domesticated horses and will be able to bite the shit out of each other, which is why I told Moses next year we're switching to pygmy pigs. I told <laughs> Moses. Switch to pigs. I love pigs, although pigs can get violent. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And this I is was another- actually I watched a great video of a bear attempting to attack two pigs, and then the I believe it was the father pig came out and Bears? chased the fuck out of that bear. But you can't fight a bear. You can't. And also, I got to wonder about how thick a hawk shit was. Was it felt like getting an entire Slurpee uh, slapped on his back? I could see that. I mean, hawks are what like 30, 40 pounds, something like that. Can they get that big? Something like that. I could see a hawk. Having a pretty solid duke. Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. They also eat nothing but fish. I mean, you, when you, you have a it nice is, seafood diet, it comes right through you. It is splashy, splashy. And I have I one agree. more one I wanted to do, which All is right. about. Also, I want to say thank you to everybody that sent me as close to possible copies of the Mike Warnke Dashiki that oh we showed on the stream. God. And I'm hoping that's going to end up with me, too, because, again, it's all about comfort. I'm going with you, Kissel. Oh, ABC. Dude, I want you to you go through that phase. I'm I'm going to go to Destination Extra Large and I'm going to start getting my suit jackets back. I I'm love going the suit jacket. jacket. You I'm were going doing suit that. Jacket. You were doing that at WonderCon and I love to see you cosplaying as yourself. Yep. TV News is Ben Kissel. Maybe all of you, man, I don't want to do TV News again. No, 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 no. That's a fucking fuck. horrible shit. Um, but this is a look at this. This is a really this is actually something I wanted to read because it's more about like, listen, this is a this is like a bad luck story. Okay. But this is really more about uh, this is about uh, Point Pleasant, West Virginia. Okay. And how many people have said... This is the Mothman. This is a Mothman territory. Now, yeah. I've heard a lot of people talk about how when you go to one of the... When you go down to, like, the dynamite area, like, the you know, where they went... When the original sightings of the Mothman yeah. was. Like, what do we know what the Mothman actually was? He harbinger was a harbinger of doom. of doom, right? And he tried to warn people, but the bridge... Don't go down that road now. the commercial that we did. And success, wildly successful. <laughs> yeah. And we have a new... Um, we'll have a new coffee line coming soon. I believe it's going to be called Reptilian in the Morning. Ooh, I love that. It's coming. You're going gonna, gonna to like it. It's going to be very tasty. A nice light morning blend. Make a shit. Absolutely. Now, Spring Hill Jack. Keep it coming. Spring Hill Jack. Oh, here we go. Now, this was. This is very interesting. But people say that when they get involved in any of these scenarios or go down to the, the dynamite mines. Yes. People get good, bad luck. They get good, bad luck. They get luck. bad. Well, they get bad luck. They just get bad luck. All right, now this is about West Virginia. Now, we drove down there from Richmond, Virginia. I was visiting a factory my work does business with. Now, I noticed the town was only an hour away from the plant, so me and another nerdy last podcast listener, co-worker, made the drive. Nice. Before we left, an old man that worked at the plant overheard me talking about going, and he looked at me dead face, nice. and he said, don't go there at night. Things tend to snatch people from the sky. You know now we have to go, dude. Well, you've just you fulfilled laughed. the prophecy. And the dude said, I laughed, but he wasn't laughing. He's dead serious. But I should have been cautious. Now, we drove the hour-long mm-hmm. mountain drive to the town. Coming over the bridge was almost like putting a backpack on. The town felt heavy. Hmm. The bright sun mixing with the gray clouds made the quiet, the quiet little cryptid famous city look black and white. We did the Mothman Museum thing. It was cool. But me and my coworker wanted That's to go see fun. the place where the Mothman was first seen, the TNT bunkers. It's about a 10-minute drive outside of town. Okay. We journeyed out a bunch of back roads following GPS directions from a message board. It led us to this little pull-off. Okay. I can't wait to go myself. But Dude, honestly, gonna... this sounds... I want to stay at a little hotel. This is all I want to do. I just, wanna, just have a, I I want a week. Oh, yeah. We had no clue where to go after this. So that's when my urban exploring skills kicked in. Because if you want to know where to go... You follow the graffiti always. We found the bunkers, and it was nothing crazy. Just kind of look at that. Took a couple pics. When we left the bunkers, something didn't feel right. Leaving the town, something didn't feel right. Hmm. Something wasn't right. Now, this is when things went south for me and very fast. We blew a tire as soon as we got on the highway leaving the town. Uh-oh. In the repair shop, getting our tire fixed, my mother called me and told me her cancer came back. Jesus. So when I got home, my landlord called me. They'd check under the house, and the entirety of the crawl space was covered in black mold, and we had to leave immediately. Buddy, you shouldn't have gone right, out The next there. day, I got laid off with no severance. What? Which is like, mostly it was that guy warning you not to take the time off because you were about to get fired. Oh, that really The company I worked for folded. Right after that, I'm dropped into a million-dollar lawsuit as a witness in an embezzlement case. <laughs> Right, I then don't a week know. Later, I ended up in the hospital almost died with a severe stomach issue. All right. I think something might have been going on All with right, this the, guy. Then the whole world shut down with fucking COVID. 
Uh, well, so, so, so thank saying, you. So this guy started. He did it. I was thank desperate you. to get this bad omen off of me. I buried my Mothman shirt. I did as much cleansing <laughs> as possible to my spirit. Today, things are better. Congrats. Honestly, I will never go near that town again. That area needs to be left alone. White people tend to go where old people tell them not to go. <laughs> that trend needs to end. I'm excited for y'all to do a deep dive into this town. There's a lot of dark shit going on. I love it. Beyond a fucking Stephen King character. I want to go do a full on investigation in that town. No, I want to go, Did man. Did you see? Uh, Do you see that? We went viral. The Kia, the truck tire that hit that Kia. Oh yeah, that was scary. Like, oh, God. Another, you know, new phobia unlocked. Kersh blast. All right, everyone. Uh, guys, what an eventful week. So before we end, just go to getitmade.la slash domestic yes. disaster man to see me and Kissel live when the best. I mean, I'm talking about top tier stand up comedy that you have never well, seen before. It'll be well, new. They call them homeless. Be, Aren't they home more? Home more. Um, it'll be us. I think we're in about 45 minutes of hardcore humor. Yep. And uh, and then we'll just hang out for a little while and have are. some cocktails. Absolutely. But, but one thing I want to remind you is that it is a little bit of a hinky process because. The, the venue itself does not sell alcohol, and we know that you all love alcohol. So what you do have to do... Is it BYOB? It is not BYOB, but... Is you, it BYOS? Bring your own smuggle, smuggle, smuggle it in? I mean, we could say that, but and go wink, 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 wink. Everyone no, just shows up with no, little wink, footballs. Wink, wink. That can... uh, but I would prefer you paid for the booze. If you go... and you buy, But buy the booze ahead of time. You can buy it on the website ahead of time, because we are supplying the booze. It is old school. It's an old school show. So there so will gotta, be booze. There will be booze. You just got to buy the booze ahead of time. We're, the, on, we're the we're the beer. It's a whole thing. Get it made. LA wow. slash disaster man. Buy alcohol ahead of time and think about okay. how drunk you want to be ahead of time. All right. Remember in your head, buy for that person. Buy for the person at the mm -hmm. end of the show who wants to be drunk. Don't buy for sober you sitting in the, maybe sober, sitting in the middle of the no. afternoon doing it. Just wait to be like, well, I don't think there's, there's, it's not going to be a super long event. So, I mean, I, it'll be like two hours. It'll be two hours. You guys, I think they can handle it. I mean, I'm just saying, think about how much booze you want for two hours and buy it ahead of time. Okay. Fantastic. All we'll right, everyone. Sling it to you. We don't want to do a triple L. Live every day knowing for a fact all I got to do is show up to set and these guys are begging me for Oscars. Uh, right? Begging for Oscars. Because well, I, I think am... they're begging you to return the engineer named Oscar. I just love my life every day my kids acupuncturist uh, is just they uh, is sheer heaven um we've already blown through three of them <laughs> because moses won't learn to read mm -hmm. but i am just mm -hmm. certain that as soon as i just load her up with a hellraiser amount of acupuncture needles all great. over their face then maybe just maybe they'll stop killing the hell yeah. okay and then i laugh Meh. I left my laugh of a very, very secure skiing woman going, ha, ha, ha. And now I know mm. that I've ruined, uh, now that I've gotten one menace off the slopes, right. now the slopes are free for any thin-waisted, uh, broth-filled, just a, a wayfish person to be to be completely safe. But again, remember, if you're on the slopes and you're scared of getting hit and you're a skinny little woman, turn it side. Absolutely. Gwyneth, I am with you, and thank you for all you did with uh, showing your boobs. All right, everyone. Well, thank you all so much for listening. I uh, hope you're doing well out there. Hail yourselves. Hail Satan. Magustalations, everybody. Hail me, babe. No problem, Gwen. Mm. Let's go out to eat. Where can you go out to eat? Um, I can go really to the Erewhon parking lot. <laughs> and I can eat, bring the prepackaged foods I brought with me. Ooh, let's go to AMPM. Cool. <laughs> this show is made possible by listeners like you. Thanks to our ad sponsors. You can support our shows by supporting them. For more shows like the one you just listened to, go to lastpodcastnetwork.com.